James Barnes Miller giving people back in the UK a bit of a fright, but what a start from JBM. JBM having the lead here. Now he's going to be on a heel edge where we have a little bit of contact here. That's going to be blue. Jacopo Lucchini is going to be pushed into the number four spot. Now the battle is for one, two, and three. That's going to be yellow. James Barnes Miller, he's going to use the, use the toe edge here. Look at that. It's in unintentional contact. That is okay. Look at them, all three. There's only going to be room for it. They're going to battle it out. And so red and green, Barnes Miller goes down. Zhu Yong Gang from China in the number one spot. Zhi Li Jia from China also in the number two spot. They're one and two. He's going to let him move into that number one spot. Some teamwork going on here. It'll be interesting about the contact up top. And they'll come across the line, number one and number two. Plenty of whooping and hollering there for the Chinese on the course as well as further down the course. But James Barnes Miller washed out, went down. The jury may take a look at that. We'll wait for the confirmation of that. It goes into a situation, is it intentional contact or unintentional contact? And it looks like a you know, protest out of James Barnes Miller. Let's take a look at the start here. Great start by the Brit. And so what the what the jury will do is they'll take a look and just see is it intentional or is the contact unintentional. And it's not as clear cut as some other sports where if you've got right of way, you can own the road. Someone has, uh, that's just beautiful shots of uh, how you finish a race. It'll be interesting to see what is determined here, if, any, if there's any change here. Jili Jia and Ju Yong Jiang of China. see run under review. So they will take a look at all the angles. The judges to make sure it was unintentional or determine if it was intentional. Well, there's plenty of stake here. Two places in the big final. James Bonds Miller shaking his head there. The others will go through to the small final. And that's him it, it, washing out. It's going to be tough to call to overturn that. But it is in the judges' hands here. Let's see what they say. Nervous wait in the glorious sunshine. From the angle we are looking at here, it did not look like that was intentional, but they'll look at it from different angles. China becoming a powerhouse in snow sports. Entered their first snowboard athletes at Pyeongchang in 2018. Sunki and Li Genyang finishing 11th and 14th respectively. And we've got 14 Chinese men competing in the snowboard field of 61. So here's another look. There's a little and, and upper body contact as well, potentially. James Barnes Miller was outside that blue line, so we'll see if that is the determination on that. That's what he thinks. But yeah, that's 23% of the field is made up of Chinese snowboarders. Serbian, which is quite a turnaround. Their Serbian coach, Jerika Stankovic, their international coach, People's Republic of China, has been doing some amazing stuff with them. It's a PGS, former parallel giant slalom athlete. Beijing was awarded the Paralympic Winter Games in. Uh, looks like they, they yep. made the call. It's